Now, the final thing that we're going to do with our automation is something that we talked about a couple times in previous videos, which is adding prefixing to certain CSS properties that aren't supported across all browsers without the prefixing. We specifically ran into one problem with Internet Explorer 9, where the position of the slides, if I go back to the browser, up here wasn't centered because the transform property isn't supported in IE9. Instead, we need an MS prefix on it. Now, adding prefixes ourself is problematic because it's painful. It means we have to duplicate values inside of our CSS. For example, we would have to set the transform on this element twice, which means that if we changed it, we'd have to change it in two places at least. And there are other properties that might require prefixes as well that we might not be aware of, so we might actually miss them. Now, we could add prefixes through compass, so instead of using properties like border radius, we would use compass functions, and the functions would render the property plus all of the prefixed versions as well. And that would solve our problem of having a value in multiple places that we had to update later on. But it would add a couple of problems, which is one, our code is now dependent on compass in order to work, and two, we might not always want the prefixes that compass adds. Instead, we talked about earlier an alternative, which was using something called Auto Prefixer, which is a post processor for CSS. It will use data from caniuse.com. It will use data from caniuse.com in order to determine what prefixes to add. That way we don't have to think about it. And if things change in the world of prefixes, that is more browsers adopt certain properties without the prefix, then Auto Prefixer will react to those changes and it will stop adding those prefixes. That's something that would be really nice not to have to think about.